back to my channel. I'm James, and today we're going to be talking about one of my like favorite modern thrillers that's a real throwback to the 80s. I mean, the whole thing is steeped in just so much stylized 80s goodness. So, I'm excited to announce we're going to be deep diving into Drive on 4K Ultra HD. And this is the brand new 4K Ultra HD set that's come out by Second Sight. And we're going to be going into this. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, kind of tell you the thoughts of what comes in this limited edition set. Then I'm also going to tell you about what comes in the regular 4K Ultra HD release. So if you're watching this after the limited edition set has sold out, I will touch on the basically standard edition of the 4K release as well, kind of what that is. I'm going to do my exclusive 4K versus the original Blu-ray release image comparison. That's something I do exclusively on this YouTube channel and I've done hundreds of these over the years. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this content. Now, while we're doing the exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons, I'm gonna to talk to you about my thoughts on the movie, go through all my exclusive testing and the data and results and how this compares to all the hundreds of other 4Ks I've reviewed over the years. And then at the end, I always wrap it up with my review score and give you a sum up of the total quality of this 4K Ultra HD release, the image, the sound quality. Now I will have the limited edition 4K Ultra HD release that I'm holding here in my hand listed in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. I'll have the link down there from Amazon. That way it makes it nice and easy for all of you. You click on that, takes you straight out to Amazon at no extra cost to you. It's the same price as everywhere because it's a limited edition set. So that link down there will take you straight out there. Whether the limited edition set's available or the standard edition and the Blu-ray of the new 4K Master, I will list all of those options down in the description section below. So depending on which one of these you decide after watching my review, if you want to pick this up, I'll have them all linked down in the description section and as a pinned comment. Now we're going to start off with above the Blu-ray image of the original release of Drive from Sony. And this is the original Blu-ray image. And as I've talked about, this is the unfiltered image that's on that disc. It's without all the things you can kind of do on your TV to try to add like extra color saturation or things like that. This is the unfiltered image. Now, in comparison to this new 4K Ultra HD release, that's the image you're going to see up above of this. And again, that's the unfiltered image of the 4K Ultra HD release in this set. That is the same image you're going to get on the standard 4K Ultra HD disc that comes from Second Sight. And I'll have them listed over here so you can see the difference between the covers. This is the limited edition set, which is quite hefty and big. And I'll get into this a little bit later here. But there is a standard edition, which doesn't come with all the extra goodies in this box set. But basically you get just the 4K Ultra HD release of this new 4K Master. And I'll show that case over there as well so you can see that. But right away the big differences that should come across are on the new 4K Master that they did. They did a brand new 4K Master by the original post-production company that worked on the original film when it originally came out. And this was with brand new Dolby Vision and HDR color grading that was approved by the original director and the film's original colorist. So it's as true to the vision of what they originally had intended but with the new technology that's able to bring so much more to life than what that original Blu-ray had, there's so much more depth to the image. Now I will touch on this is an upscaled 4K 2160p. Now those of you that have watched my YouTube channel for a while and followed me here on this YouTube channel, you know that a lot of the times some 4K upscales aren't as huge an upgrade as some of the native 4Ks, how they appear on a lot of older films. Now this film drive came out in 2011. So it's not too old of a film, even though it is harkening back to, and it is a retro 80s feel of a film, especially the time period. The music is so steeped in synth wave. I absolutely love the soundtrack. I have it and still listen to it to this day. It has some of the greatest synth wave songs on it, I absolutely just adore it, which add to the basically overall just feel of the film. But talking about how that affects basically how it looks, as you probably noticed on this box set, which I'm not gonna be able to hold for too much longer because this thing weighs a ton. There's a book in here that's over 240 pages long and it's a hardcover book. 
And this thing is one of the heaviest single movie box sets that I own, and it is a monster. But talking about the image on the 4K disc here, like I said, it is an upscale 4K, but overall, it is probably one of the best looking that I actually had to look at it numerous times to consider if it really was an upscaled 4K. But man, it is probably one of the best looking upscales I've seen. That's how good this 4K Ultra HD actually looks. The technology they did behind this, the Dolby Vision and the HDR10 presentations both drastically look better than what that Blu-ray had. The lights to darks on it shine through so drastically better, especially because a lot of the scenes, especially the beginning of the film when he's driving through the city and things like that, it does have a lot of that just dark imagery where the lights of the city will come out of darkness or his car's headlights or the lights of the streets going by over his car. All of those things really just added to the effect of the cinematography. But overall, when you compare them to the 4K and the Blu-ray side by side, there is a drastic noticeable difference between them because of the new color grading in the HDR10 and Dolby Vision that shine through with that HDR so much better. Where on that Blu-ray, it did have more of kind of a grayish tone in some areas of the dark areas of the screen, where now they're inky black and just look phenomenal on it. You know, a lot of the imagery in this film had a lot of like blacks and grays and like neon vibrant colors. And that goes right into the boxing, how it says drive here in neon colors with the black around it. And that's really what the film basically exudes throughout it. It's just a lot of just style and just overall oozing 80s charm and looks phenomenal in the new color grading in this 4K master that the director did with the original colorist. Now audio wise on this new 4K Ultra HD release, we get a brand new Dolby Atmos mix. That is really where this shines. I mean, the Dolby Vision looks great in the HDR10, but that Dolby Atmos mix they did for this, going back and remastering it and doing this brand new Dolby Atmos mix really added some cool elements to moving the sound around, especially like when the helicopters are going by overhead, when they're escaping in the car. And there's numerous scenes where you'd hear cars whipping by, they really sound like they were going around you and you know, they go under a bridge, you could hear things above you. And overall, the Dolby Atmos mix on this, I thought was phenomenal. I thought it was really well implemented in it. Do I think, as I've referenced, kind of Dune or basically Moonfall, both of those reviews I did before that are basically reference quality, no, it's not quite to that level, but it is up there with a really well done Dolby Atmos mix that this is something I would use to show off my Dolby Atmos system and say, hey, this is really the benefit of having Dolby Atmos. Now, if you really haven't gotten into Dolby Atmos systems or how Dolby Atmos systems work or if you can afford one, I did do a video on this YouTube channel kind of talking about how to get into Dolby Atmos with a good Dolby Atmos system that doesn't sound tinny and isn't just a sound bar that has no range behind you or above. Um, I did a video here on this YouTube channel that you can check out that it's how to get reference Dolby Atmos system on a budget without basically breaking the bank, but getting something that's really good that you will really notice the difference versus just something like a sound bar. And you can check that video out here on the YouTube channel. I did that here a while back, and that's something that'll really give you a bunch of tips and tricks and really give you a way to save a ton of money and get a great Dolby Atmos system. But talking about the Dolby Atmos on this release, it sounded great. Now you do get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix as well. That's the original mix that was on the original Blu-ray release. You get that as well, so you get both options between it what to play but the Dolby Atmos was where the huge upgrade in audio quality was, and it was a big upgrade over the DTS HD Master Audio Mix that it did sound drastically better and give way more range and moving objects around that it may drive even escalate above what I had expected out of this 4K release. Now, if you enjoy this content and all the hard work I put into each one of these videos here on my YouTube channel, there's a few ways you can help to support this channel so I can keep creating all of these videos for all of you to watch, especially these exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. 
You can always give a super thanks tip down below and there's actually a button that looks just like this down below and you can give a super thanks tip through that. That goes straight into this YouTube channel and I use that to go and create all these videos. This was not sent to me for review. This is something that Second Sight did not send. I had to go out and import this. I pre-ordered it a long time ago to get in and I paid full price. I didn't get a sale price. That was simply so I could create this video for all of you. Well, another way that is a bigger support to this YouTube channel is I came out with a way to say thank you to all of you is the Collectors VIP Club membership program. That's the best way to support this YouTube channel and it's a way that I give things back to you, my viewers and subscribers. There's a bunch of perks and benefits you get for that as well as some exclusive video content of exclusive reviews that will only be for my VIP Club members. And that's something that I just started here a few weeks ago. So you can definitely join that here on this YouTube channel. I'll actually have the link up here above for the join link that you can actually click on that. As well as below each video, right next to the subscribe button, there's a join button there as well. When you click on that, it allows you to join that VIP club membership and it gives you VIP status, a member's badge, special emojis, and a bunch of other perks and benefits, just like I said, with those exclusive videos, that'll be something that help you out. So if you enjoy all this content and all these videos I create, make sure to join that VIP club membership. That is the best way possible to show your fan status of my YouTube channel and to help support this YouTube channel so I can keep creating all of these videos and all of this content that all of you love watching, especially these 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. They're very expensive and very time consuming to create. They take me on average anywhere between five to six days to compile all the data, get all the data off of the disks, do all of these image comparisons, get all the images off of the disks, time them up between the Blu-ray versus the 4K, and that's why all of this is very expensive to create and why no other reviewer wants to spend the time to create all this exclusive content like I do here on my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing, you need to go down there and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Now for this Drive 4K Ultra HD release, they did keep it in the original aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1. They didn't cut it down, change it, or edit it at all. And I think that's due to the original director being involved with this entire release. And I really did like what they did with this, especially what the director did. And there's some things I'm gonna to touch on here, but they did keep it in the original aspect ratio. Runtime, 100 minutes. It is a fast paced, slick thriller that really is just an ultimate cinematic masterpiece that I just absolutely love. Now I will touch on, it is rated R. So keep in mind, it does have violence, language, some brief sexual content. So it is one of those films that it's up to each one of you what you're wanting out of the film, but it is rated R. Now touching on the box set here, it does have a little slip cover that comes over the top that says drive and this like purplish, basically color tone. I like the scorpion and the cover art here. It's nice and slick. Drive on the side, scorpion above. Then on the back here, it talks about it. I'm not gonna break down everything on here, but the slip cover does come off on here. And it's basically kind of like one of these J cards that it sits into. On the back here, it does talk about it a little bit more. Now when you take the slip cover off, it has the drive listed here on the side. And then you get here to what's all inside this massive box set. Now, as I said, if you're not getting this limited edition set and you're just getting the regular set, it will not come with all of this. It's simply going to be the 4K Ultra HD discs and an actual 4K Ultra HD case with the same cover art that was on the outside of this box set. Now, when you get inside here, it has a gorgeous, glossy hardcover book. It says Drive with the director's name on it. Drive on the side, another quote on it. Now, when you get inside this, this is one of the most comprehensive books I've ever seen in a limited edition set. I mean, heck, when you get to the back here, there's essays, behind the scenes, artwork, glossy, tons and tons of glossy photos of the film, production stills, artwork for how they film the scenes. I mean, literally 240 pages. This thing is massive. Overall, I think this is the biggest book I've seen in a limited edition set, more so than even like Aero Video editions that have come out. This thing is a monster. I have not read through the whole thing yet. I've glossed through it because this thing is so big, you'd have to sit down and basically take a week to read through all of this, but this thing is outstanding. Then you also get a soft cover novelization with this car on it. it says drive on the side, another quote. 
And this is the novelization, the original novel of that basically the film is based off of. I liked this extra touch having it in there. I don't know that I'm gonna have the time to read this, but I do like that they threw this in. Though I do wish it wasn't soft cover. I wish it was hard cover like the actual other booklet was, but I do love the matching artwork, how it's got different pieces from the film in gold on it with that like retro 80s like look of it with the like basically neon colors coming out of it. I like that. Then you get a bunch of these postcards, highly glossy postcards of images from the film as well. And then you get to the last piece, which is your discs. Now this is the only thing I will say that Aero Video and BFI have over Second Sight. And that is the case for the disc. It's cardboard, basically cardboard. They didn't print anything on the side of it, which I thought they should have matched it and said drive on the side. And they didn't print anything on the back, no quote on the back of this. I really felt like the discs case here, they kind of really just didn't do a good job with. When you get inside here, it's basically glued plastic onto those cardboard. I do not really like that at all. I wish it would have had, just like what Arrow Video and BFI do, they put the 4K Ultra HD black cases inside with the artwork on it, but it's a regular case that snaps closed inside the limited edition box sets. I don't like these nearly as much because they're easily crackable. They don't protect it as well because it's just a simple cardboard glued to it. But that's my nitpick of the set. I really feel like Second Sight could have made this outstanding overall for me, not having this case and put a regular 4K case like what Aero Video and BFI do. And I've reviewed dozens of those that you can check out on this channel. But that's my one little nitpick. On this, you do get a 4K Ultra HD. It is a BD66 and it is region free. On your Blu-ray disc, this is something that I will touch on. I always do all my exclusive testing on these. Well, I found some interesting results. I tested this disc on my Panasonic UB820s. When I put the disc in, it didn't play, but it didn't say region B locked either. When you hit the button top menu on the Panasonic UB820 specifically, there's a button on there that says top menu. It's over the left side, um, right around the radial. You hit that button, it actually played as normal. It just basically went right into it. It didn't say region B locked at all. It's not region B hard coded is my understanding from my testing. Some of the players I tested on, I could press like top menu or uh, skip to menu and it would skip to the actual main menu of the disc and it would play just as fine as normal. Because on the Blu-ray disc, it contains the brand new 4K master with the new color grading and things like that. Now it doesn't have obviously Dolby Vision or HDR. It does have Dolby Atmos for the audio mix though on this Blu-ray disc. So even if you don't have access to 4K yet, but you wanna have this to future-proof yourself so that way, once you upgrade to 4K, you'll have it you might be able to play this because some of my players played it just perfectly fine by pressing that top menu or skip to menu button. Um, it overrode it. It never said region B locked continually throughout it. It just didn't play it until you did that. Now, there was one, my LG player, that one I couldn't get it to play on. I don't know why. The LG one has always been kind of finicky. Uh, it's an LG UBK90, if I remember correctly. That's one of the LG ones I used to test things on as well. And that one, it just kind of like kept freezing. It, I don't know what its issues was. It's kind of an older 4K player. It's not the main one I use. It's not the one I use for watching things continually on. It's just one I use for testing. But that is kind of like a little hidden tidbit that you may, if you have Panasonic UB820, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever. That one was the easy. You hit top menu, went straight into the disc, played this Blu-ray perfectly fine. So that kind of tells me that basically the region B soft locking they have on it can be easily overridden on some players. So that's a little hidden tidbit because I do all my exclusive testing. That's a bonus for all of us worldwide, especially those of us in the US that want this set. You might be able to watch this Blu-ray, especially if you have a Panasonic UB820. You're going to have no issues. Hit that top menu button. It'll play perfectly fine on that Blu-ray and you can access anything on it perfectly fine without a region free player. Talking about new special features for this set, you get a brand new audio commentary on this, a brand new behind the scenes interview, a brand new video essay, and a brand new drive 70 minute conversation with the director and other people from the studio and cast and writers and things like that. And that one's pretty darned extensive. Overall, the special features in this were absolutely phenomenal in this set, and this is really the ultimate edition of Drive 
that you'll never really care for that Blu-ray edition ever again. And considering the original director was involved in all of this, he was involved in every aspect of this release. This really is the ultimate way that the director intended us to watch his film. Now image wise on that 4K Ultra HD release, the depth and clarity of that image compared to that Blu-ray really shines through on this 4K Ultra HD release. I'm really surprised overall to find out through my testing that it's an upscaled 4K 2160p as I referenced at the beginning of this review because overall this is one of the best looking upscales I've seen. Depth in skin tones, I mean there's even some slight film grain throughout it that is very stable and just looks great overall. It's not heavy film grain, it just looks nice and stable throughout the whole film that it just added to the image that I never really noticed on the Blu-ray and it never really was noticeable to be able to see any of that depth that now it's present on this new 4K master that they did and it just looks outstanding. Colors, detail, clarity, and that Dolby Atmos was absolutely great for this film, especially that Synthwave soundtrack, the shotgun blast, oh my. You want some shotgun blasts on that Atmos mix, when you hear those shotgun blasts go off, it'll make you jump, that's how intense they were. And that really was great on that Atmos. That never ever really sounded that good on that DTS HD Master Audio mix that was on that Blu-ray. On that Atmos mix, man did it make me jump, but that's what I wanted. It was so realistic and just immersive that brought me into a whole new level for this film that made me even enjoy it more so. Now. For my review score for this box set, I had a little bit of a difficulty with this and here's why. I'll give you a little bit of a story here. Second Sight's press firm that they use to basically deal with their media relations. So like me, I'm a reviewer and the company they use to actually deal with those um, is not great to work with. They have a lot of issues. They have horrible communication. They say they'll do something, then they don't do it. Um, they say they'll send something, then they don't. I was supposed to do numerous other reviews for Second Sight's products before. I had to go out and buy this release on my own, pre-order it to get it in. Um, they just really use a really bad company that does not do a good job at all. Um, and it really kind of is hard for me because it gives me a bad opinion about the company because they kind of just put everything on that press company and then that press company does a horrible job and that press company treated me pretty darn badly. They just, they're not great. Um, so I did this on my own. I had a hard time doing this review because of the bad opinion I had of them because I'm giving them press for free and doing work for free when they treated me pretty poorly. Well, I thought of this as that I liked the film and I wanted to do this for all of you, my viewers and subscribers. So I was like, basically forget about them and you know, do this for all of you. But I had to kind of put that all aside and say, hey, that doesn't have anything to do with this release itself and do this review score based simply on the review of this release. But I did just want to let you know, it was kind of a bad taste in my mouth how their press release company is. And I hope somehow in the future they can get that worked out with me and kind of we can work together in the future to do more reviews because I do like some of their releases here. And I've talked about these numerous times over the years, especially like I really liked when they did Flight of the Navigator. I really liked that release. I hope they released that on 4K. Um, that one's on Blu-ray and that was a great release. I did that review years back as well. But that is kind of just one of those things as a reviewer that I've dealt with that it just kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth. Well, putting all of that aside, my review score for Drive on 4K Ultra HD in this limited edition set and the standard edition of 4K Ultra HD of Drive is an outstanding 9.4. This is one of those upscale 2160p representations with this new 4K master, color grading, the HDR, the Dolby Vision. This earned that 9.4 and it deserved it. It was an outstanding release. Between the HDR10 and the Dolby Vision, I did not notice a huge difference. But otherwise, the HDR10, if you have HDR10 or Dolby Vision, you're gonna enjoy this release immensely because the Dolby Atmos was an outstanding upgrade for audio as well. Great job by Second Sight and the director. I mean, ultimate release of Drive here. 9.4. This is a must buy. If you can get this limited edition set, get it while you can. I will have that link listed in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment. So when you click on that link, it takes you straight out to Amazon. And I made that nice and easy for you. you click on that. You'll be able to buy your copy if they're still available. I put that down there below. Once they do sell out, they don't print any more of these. Second Sight never has. Once the limited edition sets are gone, they're gone forever. They're big collectibles. So those of you that like to collect these sets, you need to get your copy as soon as possible. So make sure to go down and click through that link and order your copy as soon as possible. 
There is the standard edition of this on 4K. I have that link down below as well and the Blu-ray release. So you can get the standard Blu-ray release of this, which is basically the new color grading and it'll have basically the new 4K master, but it's not gonna be a full 2160p upscale 2160p. It's not gonna have the HDR and things like that, but it will have the new Dolby Atmos track on that Blu-ray release. I'll have that link down there below as well. So no matter which one of these you wanna get, I'll have them all pinned down there as a comment and in the description section below. I can't hold this anymore. It's too darn heavy and it's killing my nerve pain. But you got to pick this up and add this to your collection. This one was a great release. And like I said, I put myself aside. I hope all of you see that I gave it a great review score that it ultimately deserved for the visual and audio quality special features. The box set is 4K release is the ultimate way to enjoy drive. And if you haven't seen it, and you like 80s movies, you like 80s themed movies, synthwave, you like anything having to do with the 80s, the classic way they filmed movies in the 80s, Drive is one of those thrillers about this guy that drives his car for criminals, but he has a set like code, so he's kind of like a bad guy kind of, but with some good moral code kind of, and it's kind of like a twisted thing to say, but that's kind of the story. It's kind of like a criminal with a heart type story, and you grow to like his character, and the things that are going on build and escalate to a big crescendo, and the music builds, and the story's so great, and you get so wrapped up in his character, and Ryan Goslin is outstanding in it. I love him in it. Brian Cranston's great in it. Ron Perlman, I mean, he does a good job in it. If you enjoy all the hard work I put behind this review, as most of you know, that's why my review didn't come out a week ago when this was released, because it did take me six days to create this review. So if you enjoy all my hard work I put into this, make sure to join my VIP Collectors Club. That's something that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've joined here on my YouTube channel. That way you get all of the extra exclusive benefits, perks, and that does help support my channel the best way possible. So make sure to join the VIP Collectors Club or give a super thanks down below through the super thanks button down below. There's also a way to donate through the PayPal donate button. So if you wanna give a donation through one of those, but like I said, the best way to give thanks back to you and to support this channel to show that you're a big fan of all this hard work is through that VIP Collectors Club. There's tons of exclusive things, including some exclusive video comparisons that will only be for my Collectors VIP Club members. So make sure to click and join that. I had a fun time today. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell notification. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below. Let me know if you were excited by this review and excited that I did this. I always love to hear from all of you. I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.